Now that we have our JunoBot put together, it's time for the electronics portion of this build. What you're going to need for this part of it is your Arduino Uno, a mini breadboard, the Arduino mounting plate, and this other plate that we're going to mount the breadboard on. For this I'm going to be using some number two 3 8 inch screws and my flathead screwdriver and my Phillips screwdriver just in case. First thing I'm going to do is mount my Arduino Uno, make sure that the USB socket is facing up and then I'm going to screw on the screws. And you can do two screws or four screws depending on what you want to do. I think I'll use two. Next, you're going to have to mount your mini breadboard onto this plate. On the back of your mini breadboard, you have a sticky tape. So you take the sticky tape off and then mount it on as best you can. Just kind of get it on there. So now you have your Arduino Uno and your breadboard. Now that you have these two pieces ready, it's time to prepare your servos. A servo is a motor, and the motor has a dark line, which is your negative, a red, which is your positive, and an orange or yellow, which would be the signal coming from your Arduino Uno. So to prepare those so that you can get them onto the breadboard, you're going to need to add some jumper cables or some jumper wires to your servo. So you're going to need a jumper cable, a black one, I'm going to pop it in to these little holes, a red one to go with red, and then I'll be using yellow for the outer one. So you have these three. What you want to do after that is get yourself a little piece of tape. and just put it here so they don't fall out. Then you can trim that up later. This is just to keep things secure. Now you have these three. And you do the same for this side. Now that we have both servos wired and ready to work with our Arduino Uno and our breadboard. So on the Arduino Uno, there's a ground wire 
and there's also a 5 volt wire that you're going to be using. So these the 5 volt and the ground pin will be on either this side or this side. And I'll show you a schematic so you can see what that looks like. On your breadboard, the current will run left to right. So we're going to use one of these lines as our ground and one as our positive, our red. So what we're going to do is first, we're going to add a red jumper wire to one of the lines. It doesn't matter which one. And then we'll add a black or a dark blue. I'm going to use dark blue in this case. And we'll just put it there. So you have two there. And I'll keep referring back to the schematic. So here, because they're going to be placed behind each other like this, we're going to put this dark one into the ground. And the ground is marked as G and D. And this red one into the 5 volts, which is marked as 5V, 5 volts, like so. For our servo, we're going to put our dark or black wire on the line here. That's the dark color. We're going to do the same for this one. We go with the dark, put it in the same line as the dark. You'll see the three are there. And then we're going to do red on the red line or the or the positive line. So now we have And the only thing we have left over are these two yellow lines. These two yellow lines will go to the numbers. That'll be our next step. The next thing you can do is add a piece of tape to secure these wires here just so they don't slip out or they'll have a tendency to slip out like so and then what we're going to do is we're going to put one servo on the left side. It's going to go into number 5. So there are numbers right here, 0 through 13. We're going to use this one on number 5. And this one on the right, the right side is going to go to number 6. So now I have two of them here on 5 and 6. And add a little piece of tape to that too, just to keep them in there snug. Otherwise they'll tend to slip out if you move it around too much. Okay. Now we're gonna try to get these snapped in without them coming apart. So 
So now you have your two servos wired. And then the next step will be to wire up your eyes. And we'll do that in the next step. Okay, the next step is to get our LED eyes on. Before we do that, we're going to need to add some more ground pins because we're we might be short. Right now we have two extra ones. I think we'll be good. I have these pre-wired LED lights. These you can buy on Amazon. They're called pre-wired LED lights. So basically I'm just going to string both of them through. Kind of push them in as best as I can. Pop it back in. This one will need to go to the ground wire, which is right here. You have two more. Kind of be a little tricky to get it in there, but you can get it in. And then this one will go right next to it. Like so. This red wire will go into 12 and the other one will go into 13. So if you can find it, if you can see it, Well, and 13, and then add a little piece of tape just so they'll stay on there. and then secure your Arduino back on. And so now you have the wiring, your Arduino, your LED lights. And finally, you can secure your wire with some tape just to kind of clean it up. And now you have your eyes and everything ready to go. Okay. One of the last things you want to do before you start coding is get yourself your battery with the barrel jack. And get your other stuff ready. <laughs> 